Welcome everyone once again. I'm Mayor Mike and this is a special edition of Talking Point. With me today is our City Assessor Steve Shepro. Welcome Steve. Hello. And I thought we'd talk a little bit about um, the revaluation that's been going on for the better part of a year and the letters that everybody got in the mail this week. So let's start out by uh, telling me a little bit about what your office does. Well, our office is responsible to assess values on homes that do the valuation for tax purposes. Okay. Our, our values are based on market sales and we try to make sure that everybody's done consistently. Um, and it's not just homes, you do businesses as well, all the property really. Completely, yep. We can do residential, commercial, uh, manufacturing is done by the state and then also personal property for businesses okay. is also. All right. Well, everybody got a letter in the mail. All the property owners got a letter in the mail this week um, talking about the revaluation. Now, the revaluation has been going on for a while. Take me back. Give me a little bit of history. I know we haven't done one as a city in over 14 years, and that was before my time here. Uh, so tell me a little bit about the history and what brought us through this process up until this weekend. Well, the, the Department of Revenue regulates uh, each municipality in the state as when a revaluation needs to be done. Uh, the city was out of compliance, which means below 90% of market value. So if you look at a typical sale and if, it's, if, if the assessment's below 90% on an average, the, the Department of Revenue will notify the municipality to have a revaluation done. Uh, this is something that had to be done at this point because we're coming up on five years and that is the deadline uh, to have it done and basically um, we started this process about two years ago and started collecting data updating we went to new software uh, we modeled every program or every sale in the city based on Stephen Point market mm -hmm. and uh, revalued everything and that's kind of our job to get the values back up to a hundred percent and keep everybody at the same level um, on a revaluation year. So the, the goal here is to assess the properties at 100% a, a of their value. Over the years, because we haven't had a revaluation done in, in 14 years, um, the, the properties got kind of out of whack, right? Correct. Um, and I know that we, were, you know, we talk about percentages and things like that in-house, but let's, what does that 90% mean? The 90% is achieved how? What, what, where did they get that benchmark? What, what happens is, just like we do in our office, we review the sales for uh, each, each sale that comes through the city, okay. and so does the Department of Revenue. And then at the end of the year, they give us a notification saying what level of assessment we are at based on the sales. So if we're sitting at 90% or 80% of that sale, that gets put into a calculation that they determine what is our level of assessment. And the reason they do that is to help the apportionment for the county. Okay, to, to, what's apportionment? To, apportionment would be what portion the city pays towards the schools, towards the county, okay. towards the functions uh, for tax purposes. Right, so if you, when I get my tax bill uh, sometime around Christmas, which is always nice, um, there's, there's lists on there. So the city taxes, the county taxes, the school district, and Mid-State Technical College. That's right. what you're talking about when you, you use the word apportionment, right? Right. When that apportionment means basically is each municipality in the county. Mm -hmm. So you have the townships, the villages also. So they want to make sure that everybody's at the same level, so right around 100%. So if we're sitting at, say, 80% of the market based on sales, that where our assessed values are about 80% of that, uh, they're going to ratio us up to that 100% so they know what portion the city will do. This will be a lot easier for the Department of Revenue now that we're their goal is to always have everybody right around 100%. Okay. And we were so, about what? What was our average? Well, commercial was running about 90%, residential okay. right around 80%. Okay. So uh, that means that if I had a house that was worth $100,000, that comparable sales were selling at $100,000 for a similar house to mine, and my assessment was only $80,000, I was paying taxes based on an $80,000 value, that means I was at about 80% of the actual value, right? Exactly right. Okay. So um, what do you do when you uh, reassess? What's the process? Generally speaking, I don't need each individual one, but what do you do? Well, the first thing I did is looked at the records that we have here at City Hall. Okay, and what kind of records the do we record, have? The records that uh, the assessor office has basically has information on each property, mm -hmm. the square footage, the age of the property, uh, any building permits that were done on it, 
And basically, my first job was to look at the records to see if they were up to date. Okay. Uh, if I felt they were up to date, I didn't have to do a door to door revaluation. Um, I, I felt the records were very good here. Our, the office here uh, at City Hall for the assessor's office have been on a regular routine basically of doing a number of homes each year and updating based on building permits or um, sale reviews. We do that every year, probably in a neighborhood of about 500 homes a year. And then any other requested reviews we have from property owners, we try to get out there and basically review them homes. So that's the first step we do to look at the records. And I felt the records were in good condition okay. and had all the information we needed. And then we ended up spot checking and going around properties to see if we had a question on measurements, uh, we, we went out and remeasured properties and stuff like that. Now, if there's still things that we don't have, we're always open to visit a property. All they have to do is yep. call. And we'll talk about that in a little yeah. later. And then from that point there, then we take our sales and we model our sales to build our program. Okay. And so uh, the sales of each home that sell in the city basically is built in it so you're going to have a low and a high okay. we tend to try to stay somewhere in the middle of that okay. and that way hopefully that you know down the line it kind of evens out over every time this is done so and those are based on com comparable sales comparable houses something of a, a similar age a similar size similar neighborhoods right correct yep. okay um how many houses, and I know you don't probably don't have the exact number, but how many houses did you actually visit, you and uh, your staff, over the course of the I would say the neighborhood of about 2,000. Okay. Yeah, out of about 8,000 homes. Yeah. And I know that sometimes, you, you know, if they weren't there, you'd, they'd, you'd leave a tag. Correct. Um, uh, do you have a percentage of about how many people didn't respond to the tag? Yeah, probably about 60 to 70 percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we had the opportunity to, to try a little, uh, you know, do a little more in depth. Um, just when you don't get inside the house, you have to base it on the information you have, which are those sales and the permits and the age and those sorts of things, right? Correct. All right. Okay. Tell me a little bit about, because uh, I know people see an assessment go up and they automatically think it means higher taxes. That's not the case. Talk a little bit about um, what an assessment means and the mill rate. Well, the, the two numbers to be concerned with when you're talking tax rate would be the total assessed value of the city mm -hmm. and then also the budgets. And one gets divided into the other, so the, the, and that's how the, the tax rate is determined. Um, when, when you say the tax rate itself, uh, that's basically really dictated by both numbers. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it, our number that we are concerned with is only the assessed value. Right. And to be fair on the valuation, if, if, if property owners are not happy with the valuation or not feel the value is not correct, mm -hmm. uh, we, we do ask them to call our office and basically have us review it. We'd like to come out and review the property. If there's something that we missed, make sure the records are correct. Okay. So. Good. Um, so for the people that... Um, say why did why did it take so long why haven't we done one in 14 years uh, why did mine go up so much uh, i know you weren't here i wasn't here 14 years ago uh, but because of that state department of revenue department of revenue um, yeah. mandate we had to do it because we fell below a certain percentage that 80 percent or 90 percent threshold correct um, so it was required that we do this and honestly if we were a little more responsible, we'd be doing it more frequently than that, I would assume, right? The Department of Revenue is suggested about every five years. About every five years. And uh, now that we have the information into the system and ready to update on a yearly basis, uh, we have a regular plan of reviewing properties. So uh, there's no reason the city, we would look at about three years of sales to four years of sales. Uh, current sales on the properties and then in that fifth year maybe do an update at that point it's a little bit more consistent that way and people tend to go up at the same level right now we're seeing uh, a, quite a range of uh, differences in the assessed value compared to where they were at and that's only because of time it, it, the market has changed that much in Stevens Point it's been a very strong market uh, so sales have been outstanding uh, in the market, and I think most people understand that. So, okay. good. And I want to touch on this just a little bit because the assessor's department, as you mentioned, doesn't have anything to do with setting the tax rate. That's all done through the city council, and we're going to be. Uh, that happens annually during budget time. 
um, and the council will be reviewing that and approving the final budget in November. So at that point is when they'll set the tax rate. And that, as you said, is based on the value of the entire city. Mm -hmm. um, and then you take into account the value of each individual property um, to set the tax rate. And we usually do that as, call it a mill rate, and it's based on $1,000. So uh, $1,000 of value for every $1,000 of value, it's X in taxes. Uh, and, and then, as you said, we have the different taxing entities, the school district, the county, Mid-State Technical College, and then, of course, the city. Uh, within the city of Stevens Point. So I know the shock uh, of the letter uh, hit a lot of people. I got mine. Mine went up as well um, because it hadn't been done in almost 14 years. The The letter kind of spelled out the process. If you disagree with the value of your home, there's a process. Walk me through that. What should people do if they have questions, comments, concerns? Well, the first thing I, we would require is at least look at other properties that you would think are comparable to your own. Mm -hmm. And if you need help with that, we have records there. It is all open information. Come and sit down with us. Uh, usually, most of the calls that we've had so far have just been questions, pretty much as far as what's this going to be for taxes. That question I can't answer okay. because the other part of the equation right. is the budget. We haven't figured that so out yet. So the best thing for people to do is just contact our office. Uh, we can both do emails or at the phone call. And then basically, we will either sit down with you. I'm more than happy to come out to the property. If you can't come in, I'd be more than happy to come out there and visit the property and sit down with you. I can bring the, the record with me and, and explain stuff. And, and that, all we want to do is make sure the value is a fair valuation. Right. So uh, the first step right now until October 3rd is open book period. So what that's does that something, mean? What's open book? Open book is something where the property owner can sit down with the assessor and our staff basically to review their property to make sure it's done fairly. Okay. And uh, that's open for the, uh, we have to officially set a date and that was set for September 11th to September 15th. Okay, next week. But we require, are we requesting anybody who wants to or now? It's more than happy to call us anytime uh, that we're there and basically to, we can answer your questions now and hopefully you know, not have so many at one time. Yeah, right, and, you don't want everybody banging down the door at once during the open book. So they can do that now. Correct. We would sit down with the property owner. Like I said, I'm more than happy to come out if there's something I have to remeasure at this point. That's the, the biggest concern I have is, you know, people have to understand it. We're just trying to have a fair valuation. Right. And then uh, after the open book period is the board of review is October 3rd. And that's more like a trial type set of okay. something like a court where the property owner basically gets to present their side and then the assessor presents our side and then the board can. Okay. And that is made up of property owners here in the city, mm -hmm. and uh, they they make the decision. We, 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 you know. So it's like an appeal process. Correct. And okay. there is other appeals to the Department of Revenue and court if you need to, but uh, usually most of the cases we can always pretty much handle right in the assessor's office. Yeah, I would expect that yep. the, you know during that open book period, or even now through the open Correct. book period, Correct. that you would be able to resolve a lot of these questions and concerns, and if there was an error, we'll admit to it. Uh, and get it corrected. Uh, if they don't, if the property owner doesn't seem to be satisfied with that after meeting with your office, they can do the board of review. Correct. Um, and then if the board of review doesn't seem acceptable to them, they still have additional avenues that they Correct. can do. Correct. Uh, but I think the most important thing is that we allow people to understand what's going on. And you've helped me do that today. Uh, we're going to get those numbers uh, up on the screen. Uh, so we can have people uh, contact your office if they need to. Correct. And um, I don't envy you for the next couple of weeks, but I appreciate you for taking the time uh, to help explain the reevaluation and what's been going on. So uh, until next time, I'm Mayor Mike, and we have been Talking Point.